I'm really disappointed with um, everything that occurred last night. Former student trustee Ahona Medi wanted all four trustees at the center of this racism probe to be asked to resign. After an independent report substantiated her allegations of racist comments and efforts to silence her. Instead, Hamilton Wentworth District School Board trustees voted for sanctions and called on only one to resign. These trustees are supposed to be serving and representing us, but instead they're silencing us. We failed to provide a supportive and inclusive environment for our former student trustee, Ahona Medes, and we know that we have to do work to dismantle systemic racism. I feel like this is the first real loud, clear message that we've sent that it's 2021 and will not tolerate racism or prejudice in our board. Carol Pakin Miller was sanctioned and is being asked to step down after that investigation found she made overtly anti-Muslim and racist remarks to other trustees. The board cannot force her to step down under provincial law, despite calls from the community for her removal. We are looking at our governance structures. We are looking at what is possible for a board. We are limited by the legislation. Trustee and former chair Alex Johnstone was also sanctioned for failing to stop racist comments at a meeting last June about the police liaison program. I am truly sorry for how my actions contributed to the systemic barriers highlighted in the report. Two other trustees, Kathy Archer and Becky Buck, who were also part of the probe, were not sanctioned. McMaster professor Emil Joseph researches issues around racism and thinks the consequences to these trustees aren't enough, considering what the report uncovered. Pretty much nothing. A public reprimand in the form of a letter or censure and and then you know you don't have to come to a few meetings. And the board's inability to remove trustees who have displayed racism will make it hard for racialized students and families to trust the board to address future racism concerns. At some point someone has to say that can't happen because it does further harm. He says more focus needs to be on fixing the systemic and structural issues this incident has revealed, instead of just looking at individual behaviors and incidents, something Medi agrees with. There's a difference between, you know, bullying and systemic issues of repression and systemic issues of racism. The board says that they have not heard from Pekin Miller and do not know if she will resign. However, they will be sending a formal letter outlining the sanctions to her. We reached out for an interview to Carol Pakin, Carol Pakin Miller today, but she did not respond to our requests.